Well guys and girls, welcome back to my channel, it's username Kate here and today I am collecting the Suzuki GSX-8S. In this vlog it's going to be my complete first impressions, I've never swung a leg over this bike, fired it up and ridden it. This is literally going to be my first ride impressions. So if that sounds of interest, keep watching and I'll roll the intro. So one of the things about Suzuki's, what I love, is they've got a quick start button. So you literally just go and it fires up. Okay, so, right, let's get on it and go for a ride around the Cotswolds. Right, let's get crack a lacking. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. Okay, okay. So it's got grunt. Guys, I hope you can hear me. I've come out today. I've got a new helmet, as you guys can probably see. And I forgot that the breath guards are in the bottom of the box. They don't come on the helmet. And that's what I normally clip my microphone to. So I'm just praying that the volume is decent enough for you guys and that the audio is not absolutely diabolical because I would just cry if that was the case. But hopefully it's fine and hopefully I don't have to cry. Well guys, we've got a 776cc throbbing parallel twin. She produces 81.7 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters of torque. Torquey torque. Well this is a stark contrast to the GS that I just arrived on. Can actually touch the floor on this which is quite a nice feeling. So I've actually got another weekend planned with Lily again. This time she's not on a super adventure S, she's going to be on her own super duke and I'm going to be on this little whippersnapper. Four down the box, three, two, So first impressions, first glance, it's a nice little machine without sounding condescending of course it's just I've literally jumped off my full height GS so I think if anyone's qualified to say that at this moment in time it's me I'm getting a feeling that the seat is quite firm on first uh, first bum feels that's weird Oh, it put me in bitch mode. Oh, okay, right. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. I had it in B mode. And I had traction control on three. Just put it in A mode with traction control on one and instantly I'm getting more from that throttle oh yes woohoo so looking at the dash if you can see it through this vlogging setup again I brought my peak design mount with me because it's slinky and it looks great but you can see the phone shaking like mad that's vibration dampeners I'm not worried that it's going to fall off or anything because it's really really on there with magnets and like a clamp so I'm not scared about it coming off that's for sure 
But if we can see through here and see the dash, we've got a lovely colourful TFT. Now I'm trying to think of the other dash that Suzuki has that's a TFT and that's on the GSX S1000 GT which Mike and I took to Germany. If you haven't seen that four part series and that's something for you to catch up on. But I think it's quite different from that. I mean for a start we don't have uh, mobile connectivity but I'm okay with that because that's something that I never really use on bikes if I'm being honest. I get that it's nice to have it if you do use it, it's just not something that I personally do choose to use. But yeah, we got revs in a funky little rev counter where it goes light blue, dark blue and then red for the red line. We've got speed on nice and clear, I'm loving that. And then we've got a giganticus gear indicator to the right just there, again, love it. And then the functionality of this bike, we really do just have kind of two things that you can change. You've got the mode, which is either A for sporty, B for street, if you will, and C, which is like a bit of a rain mode. And then you can set your traction control levels independent of your power of the throttle. So you have three levels of that traction control, one being the least intrusive, other than off obviously, two and then three which is the most intrusive. And then if you just wild you can turn it off completely. Right we need to find some better roads than this because this is just offensive. We'll go down the box, five, four, three. Two. Oh, okay, that quick shift is quite nice. When you ride, I've noticed with Suzuki's that they've got a little bit of an electronic whine to them. I don't know if the camera's picking it up as I ride along, but it's something I can definitely hear. And I could on the GSX-S 1000S as well. So maybe it's just a little Suzuki characteristic. Okay, it can pick its feet up nicely. Now I know that I'm going to get a load of Hornet comparison questions and I'll probably try and answer what I can in the comments but with this being a first ride I just kind of want to judge the bike in its own right first off and then I'm sure a comparison video really getting in depth about the two bikes will come but for the moment let's give the Suzuki GSX AS bike a time to shine it's moment of glory can't wait to get it on twisties can't wait yeah got a lot of videos planned on this bike hopefully you will have seen the walk around video then we've got first impressions hopefully we're gonna have pillion impressions so yeah if you're interested in all that jazz then subscribe that was weird sorry oh and then going back to the dash before i interrupted myself we've got the clock at the top and then at the bottom we've got like odometer trip and some very basic information very basic it's not over complicated things she's a late back susie she's a smooth operator Throttle is really, really nice. Is this? Oh no, I've gone wrong. I've gone wrong. Of 
unless I've gone wrong. This is me we're on about. I couldn't get it right. That'd be far too easy. Yeah. Okay, so suspension feels real nice and firm. Real firm. We've got KYB, upside down forks at the front, no adjustability. But again, that is very much like its competitors, I would say. Okay, so it's a bike that feels quite substantial. Switch gear is typically Suzuki. If you don't ride Suzuki's often, that's not much good to you, but you know, quality bits. Everything responds with a nice clunk when you press it, just so you know you've pressed it. I am a bit dubious about the seat comfort. I am worried, because i got a long gas ride to do tomorrow. I'll be travelling from Oxford back to Manchester. And uh, at least I'll be able to give you guys an idea of if it's a bum breaker or not. Because already, <laughs> uh, I'm starting to feel it. They do have another seat option advertised. I want to say it's £160 from memory. But it is listed on the website as a stylish seat as opposed to a comfort seat. So I don't know whether it's going to make your tush feel any more cuddled. So the riding position is a lovely naked bike, commuter bike style riding position. There's nothing out of the ordinary. We've got some nice bars. I'd say they're a little on the narrower side than the wider side, but it's not, not a problem. Nice black bars, black switch gear, black levers. We've got big spaniel uh, mirrors, which seem to be doing a good job. What does it look like if I look down at the tank? Well, seeing as it's the white colour, there's a lot of black going on. Let's get behind this, whatever it may be. A little trumpa lumpa ding dong Sounds good. It's got some backpack on as me, what a ledge. What a ledge. Oh, goodbye my friend, this is where we part ways. So far, so good. We've got a seat height of 810 mil. So I find that a great height to be honest. For my 5 foot 4 frame and my 29 inch inseam. I like it. The brakes. So, oh hyper motor. Huh? With the brakes, the front reacts quite quick when you press it in. It's got good stoppers. We have got some Nissin radially mounted four pot calipers on the front, twin discs. It is a competent setup. Town mannerisms of this bike are excellent. And I think one of the reasons is because even in A mode, the throttle is really smooth. Okay, we got a nice national. We're in second gear. Yeah, that um, 
That accelerated pretty quick. I wasn't expecting that. That's awesome. Morning, Mr. Monkai. Give my regards to your wife. Even though it is suitable in the afternoon. So I'll drop a few. Four. Blow it round. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Got a humpback bridge. It's narrow. We've got a twisty, bendy sign. And we're also stop. Oh, that stops really well. Obviously, I look to see there's nothing behind me for miles before I decided to do an emergency stop and yeah it, it stopped me great wow that was impressive that was very very impressive with the brakes I didn't even use any back there just committed to two fingers full yeah guys what do you reckon to my helmet I really really wanted a really colourful one but they don't do it no more it's just cruel just cruel oh these roads are just so green wow look at the house sheesh i just love it i love greenery it literally soothes my soul it makes my existence worthwhile a yellow door with green around it stop stop it come on so we're in second gear we were doing 15 miles an hour then this bike has got low rev assist which is great for people that are learning to ride or beginners twisty road up here with any luck got a national sign so this should be quite good okay quick shifter gorgeous oh this road is delightful got a junction coming up so always be on our guard on guard <laughs> oh the scenery around here Whoosh. this is why I wish it could be spring and summer forever power on you can see it's clear look at these lanes oh yes gorgeous baby gorgeous let's go I tell you what, accelerating, that front feels proper planted. I don't think it has massively quick steering. But I think that might be contributing to its planted feeling. It's weighty feeling. It's 202 kilograms. far for a first impressions yeah I'm enjoying this bike I'm gonna really enjoy it guys and girls what do you think of the Suzuki GSX 8S what are your thoughts on the bike let me know if you've ridden it and what your conclusions were about it whether you liked it whether you didn't like it what you did like what you didn't like let me know because I'm always curious like I said little quick 
first impressions ride I literally just picked it up so I don't know how pure of a first impressions I can provide you than when I have actually just hopped on the bike I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy getting to know this bike again these first impressions rides are more how the bike makes me feel if you want to know about all the stats the specs what it's like for me to sit on it and stuff like that then there will be a link above that you can click on if you haven't yet seen that video you might find it insightful if you want to know about the ins and outs of this bike but like i say for now so far so good guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button please consider doing so it really helps my channel you guys know that i ain't too proud to beg so hopefully i'll catch you a lot on the next one take care ride safe peace out